Hi, Nana here. In this video, we are going to see a real-time supply update in Fusion applications in order management. So let me go there and then share it to you. Let me create an item. So let me go and then create an item. So you go to the, go to the home icon <clears throat> and then I will create an item. So go to the product management and then go to the product information management. This is for the real-time supply update. Click on it now. It will not create an item. So this will be on my org 010 <clears throat> root item class now. <clears throat> root item class. So click on OK. No, 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 no. And then we'll do this. It's D01. Real time update is item. So it's basically real time supply update. Go there and then let me assign it to the all. Then go to the associations and then let me assign it to the all. Actions and then assign it back. So go there. D01, enter in now. I'll move for the child dog over here. Click on apply and then click on done. <coughs> so we will now go on that save and save save and close. The real time update item is now created. So let me have a stock of 1000. I will now go to the home icon and then go to the supply chain execution now. And then go to the inventory management. And then let us now have a stock of thousand. Let us now create a miscellaneous transaction now. We'll now make a miscellaneous result. Go the on it. And then go to the create miscellaneous transaction for the R D011. Go there. Click on OK. We'll now perform a miscellaneous result. Click on it. So in really what happens, it'll be coming from manufacturing or from suppliers actually. So we are now simulating it with the miscellaneous result now. 10 iPhone, 100 iPhone, 1000. I don't know. Put this as yes. yes. And then click on plus and then add the item now. Find that is a D01 underscore re and then give it a tab now. The item will become it. Click on it. I will now have what FGS and then I will now have a stock of 1000 on this. So 1000 is a stock. I am not going to complete the submission. Find on submit. So once when you submit it, what happens? The transaction will be getting completed now. You will be getting a message that you have got, the transaction has got successfully completed. And if you don't get the message, something is wrong in your uh, setup or something like that. What happens? You have to get this confirmation message. They don't need to be there. Okay, go there. So click on it and then go on and have a look at the item stock now. So item is D01 underscore re and then go tab now. You can search now, you'll be having a stock. It will not show you in sub inventory also find this is the item, and then this is the organization, and then this is the sub inventory which is not desired. Let us now go there and then what happens? Do a perform a collection now actually, and we will not perform a collection. So go there, click on form icon, and then we'll not perform a collection. So go to the supply chain planning and then go to the plan inputs and then perform a collection. We will now collect it in the supply chain area actually. Click on the plan inputs and go there, click on it. Then here we go there and then do it now. <clears throat> so go to the collect planning data. So collect planning data is the one. So I will now perform what? Go there, drop it down, and then go to the OPS now. Net change. And then in the reference data, I will not choose item now. And we will click on it. I will not choose the item now. So I will not choose the item. And go there, click on it. And then in the supply chain data is the static static data. And then you go to the dynamic data. In the dynamic data I will now bring the order. And these two things I'm going to collect now. And go. So item on order, I'm collecting it at a net change, you know. Sounds of it. So by which this, come, this will be completing this. Back to submit now. So now it is giving you a warning now. Fine, you are now doing a net change. Then I, you might not have done a prior target the collection. Doesn't matter. Fine, click on OK. OK. Be OK. Yes. And then the now process is now submitted. So we'll go there and then have a look at the monitor of the process now. Fine. So the entire collection process will run now. Fine. So I'm now going to pass the record for five minutes and then you know come back again and have a look at it. So worker to delete the state data is the last concern of this running now. Fine. Otherwise, what happens? Go there and perform a refresh and start. Refresh and start. Refresh and start. Order from missing server. Thank you. Okay. And then this time, what happens? I'm now going to pass on only the items and then on and on and then items. I'm going to refresh it. Items on and this is sufficient because this is the one new things which has come now. So we'll now after the item on on and click on submit. So the concurrent is running now. It will only wait. So in the meantime, what happens? You can go there and then click on and find out. So here, uh, what I have done is I have now done an infinite ATP. And go there, click on it, and then we'll now go to the order management and then have a look at it. Go to the order So there are three ways of uh, configuring an ATP rule. And then go there, and then click on the manage ATP rules. I have now configured an infinite ATP as such. <coughs> so it's a D zero one. Go and then make a search now. <coughs> and then here, if you go on and edit it, you can now see that the ATP rule criteria is infinite. So we can even have a supply chain 
availability search or a lead time based or infinite. Infinite means what? It will not even check your demand against the supply actually. It will automatically schedule. You go to the assignments rules. And then here, I uh, added both the hours over. So you are asked, you go there and then how look at the concurrent, let it complete now. Fine. So this global order form is fine. This uh, refresh and start concurrent is now running. So once when that gets completed, whatever you can see this. <clears throat> So the refresh and start order promising server is now completed. So let us go there and then we now create a sales order. We have a th quantity of thousand now. And now go there and then we will now create a sales order for let's say uh, thousand five hundred. We will now see what happens. Click on the order management. And the, go to the order management. So we have only thousand. I click on create order. We will now put the item now. The customer is D zero one. <coughs> and then choose the customer. The item is D zero one. Underscore V and then you tap now. So 1500 is the quantity I'm going to put it up. I have given all items price of one. So that's why whatever the price is coming over here. I have not given any price at all. All in price is one. I click on add now. So let me put the arrows. Click on it. I will go to the supply and then add the arrows over here. So it's a D011 and then give it a tab now. <clears throat> so it's not coming. Back. Click on it. I will not submit it. So 1500 quantity is the one. I will not submit the sales order. It will be going progressing now. So it will not progress. And then the distributed order orchestration will not fire. The default one will fire and then it will now progress on that one. So we got a confirmation message that sales order has been submitted. Fine over. So 98002 is a one. And then you go to the actions and then you go to the system. And then have a look at it. So now the scheduling will pass, but the reservation will fail actually. Fine, go to the place and then have a look at it. So click on it. Since we have done the collection of it now, right? scheduling will not have any problem at all. Since we have infinite ATP, and then we have collected the item as well as on end, what happens? The scheduling will not have any problem. It is starting now. But what happens? The reservation will fail because we don't have sufficient funds in this place. Now we can see that the scheduling is completed now. Fine. The reservation is going to start, and then that is now going to fail. Fine. Scheduling is completed because what happens? The infinite ATP, and then the item on on end is collected. But we don't have sufficient on end, and so what happens? The reservation will fail. And then it will not progress further at all because this is a default do now. Right? So it is a duo order flow generic process. Fine, I have not customized the flow. So because of which what happens, it will not go further at all. So it will not land up an error saying that we don't have sufficient quantity to go ahead on this work to actually. So reservation has just started now. So wait for it to complete now. Shipping is one of the toughest part in order management actually. So we have to learn it very clearly. Then only we can do it very properly. Fine. We got a message now, we'll click on it. And then have a look at the message. The reservation has failed actually. <clears throat> so click on it. What happens? Create reservation has failed. So it says what? We don't have sufficient quantity. So it's not giving you some, okay, right for the task as and go click on it. So now your reservation was not created because the reserved quantity is greater than the available reserved quantity. So it's not greater than available quantity. Fine, click on okay now. We will now go there and then receive this item. Fine, click on it. I don't know. So let click on the duplicate and then let me receive it. So we'll now receive another 2000 items on this. Fine, click on it. I will not go to the supply chain management and then go to the inventory management and then let me uh, receive 2000 2, more on this. Click on it and go there. <clears throat> and then you click on what create miscellaneous transaction. And then type is miscellaneous result now. Click on type and then the miscellaneous result and go there. So I will not put the content 10, 100, 1000, go on, go there. Make it as yes now. And then click on plus and then copy the item. It's a D01. Click on it. It's a D01 hyphen re and then give it a tab now. So go there. It now shows you available quantity is 100 now. Fine, go there. Click on it. Go there. <clears throat> and then go there. And then see. Fine. Choose the FGS now. Fine. Go there. Another 2000 I'm going to give. So go there. And then click on it. And then click on save. Sorry. So now this quantity has to be made available in the order management area for which what happens is there is no need for us to do what? A, a collection and repression. That is not required actually. And then you will go to the manage item quantities and have a look at it. Whether the item has been reserved or not, have a look at it. It will not be reserved. Also. Item is what? The D01 underscore V and then go down now. And then click on search, it will be showing you the quantity. It might not have a look at the item. And then click on expire. Now we have a 3000 of fine. Click on it. And then you keep the custom organization view on the item availability. You now see the entire 3000 is now available for reservation as well as transaction. And that's what I'm saying. So you will now try to, what happens, uh, run the real time update. So once when you run the real time update, there is no need for us to collect and refresh. Fine, go click on it. Want to process. You know, run the real time update. Go click on it. So go there. It's a start real percentage update percentage. And then go to app. So start real time update. Go there. Click on OK now. Go into 
So this concurrent will now communicate to the order management or the, the GOP area, the supply chain area and the GOP area that the supply has got updated. So anything on the supply, whether it is a resource change or any a PO change or a requisition change, anything on the supply front, what happens, we cannot do it. Only for the static data, we need to, what happens, run the uh, collections and operation. That is for the dynamic data, <coughs> which is there on the right hand side on the collections, not on the for which order is done. So it is not saying that what happens in the end of the morning, it doesn't matter if I order. Let us go there and recover the order. And we actually okay, cancel it. And then let us not recover the order. I check on the now, not affected. Uh, go there and then let us not recover the order. What are the actions and then what is the record order? Fine. So the, it is still not confined with the click on the refresh it now. Fine. So order can be recovered. I click on go there, click on actions. So there is no record order is confined with the click on record. So otherwise, what happens is we can even recover the order, otherwise, we can go there, go to the actions and then click on reserve. Now. So reservation is trailed down fine with that. So we can either recover the order, otherwise what happens, we can now click on actions and then go to reserve again. Now we'll not write reserve. So we are on the supply update down fine with that. We'll now see whether the, the, one of the actions is sufficient. Right? Recover order or otherwise actions reserve. So on which what happens, it will not start to reserve. So it will be reserving it now. So that what happens, it will not progress. Fine. There's no processing, it's not saying fine, click on okay now fine. So that means what system has sensed the new supply as such now without running your collections under pressure. Actually. Now the yellow mark will be going away now. The tick mark is now gone. Fine. Now the processing is now happening now. I go there, click on it. And then it needs what it is now saying, but click on it. It will now say it's no processing. If you click on the blue icon, what happens? It is under processing actually. And go there. And then click on the do number now. Fine. And then have a look at it now. Go there. So reservation has started. Fine. Now let's click on that now. Previously, what happens? Uh, it, 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 the tick mark will be coming very soon. Click on refresh. Go there. So once when it is reserved, what happens? You can now see that now it is reserved actually. Fine. Click on refresh now. Fine. So this much of a quantity will be there, and then you can even see on your manage item quantities. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I will now make a search now. Fine. Click on search again. Click on search, and then once when you search for it, you can now see that three thousand is not shown over here. Fine. Click on it, and then click on the view item availability. Now thousand five hundred have been reserved. Now available to reserve is only thousand five hundred, even though the total stock is three thousand. So thousand five hundred has got reserved now. Click on it. So we'll now go to the shipping area and then we'll now do the picking now. We'll go to the duplicate and then it will now perform that <coughs> pick release as well as the ship confirmation operation. Click on it now. Go to this place and then go to the inventory management. So the essence of this training is what? Whenever you have any changes in the real-time updates or the, in the supply data, you can run the real-time updates and then that is more than sufficient. And we'll click on it and go to ship and number. And then let us now perform a, what happens the pick now. Fine. The order number is 9008002 now. Fine. Click on it. And then we'll click and then uh, <coughs> click on the point. So manage shipment lines 9008002 is the one. Let us not make query now. So 9008002 is the one. Fine. Click on search now. Fine. I'm going to search it now. So we'll now launch the pick release. So by which to be completed, fine. go to the actions and then go to the launch pick release. This pick release process is going to perform the pick release as well as a pick confirmation. Fine. Both of them are clubbed together in this one. Fine. Go there. Fine. So if an item is going to be serialized to control, then what happens? We can even stop at the pick release and, and uh, we can even manually do the pick confirmation. Otherwise, what happens? It will be automatic as such now. Fine. So in this case, it will be automatic. Go there. Click on it. Save and close now. <clears throat> we can even perform a manual pick by going via pick wave actually. Fine. Go there. Go there. So you go there and then have a look at it. If you go there, then you can even perform a manual pick actually. If you want to do it, you can go via pick wave and then perform a manual pick on this now. And we'll click on it. So you can now see the shipment number coming. Click on it now and have a look at it. It will be having a status of stage actually. So once when it is stage, it will be ready for pick confirmation. Fine, go there. What is there? No stage. Fine, go there. So let me click on that. What happens? I will now click on this one. Fine, go there. How much you want to ship? Fine, thousand five hundred. I want to ship now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So we will now go on that. Perform it. Now. Click on it. Thousand five hundred is the one. I'm going to ship everything and I think and then go there. <coughs> And then click on ship confirmation by which what happens that we are confirming it. So once when you confirm it, what happens? It is now kept, it is now lifted from the staging area and then kept on the carrier. And then what happens? It will going. And then you can now see in the monitor process, your concurrent will be running since ship on that base. So once when that complete gets completed, what happens? It will be basically interfacing it to OM now. The send ship on advice is responsible for interfacing it to OM now. So the shipped data of inventory will be communicated via this send ship on advice now. It is now getting completed. So once when this is completed, what happens? You go to the manage orders, then how will it I refresh it now? Click on it. So it will get updated as what awaiting shipping. And then now it is already shipped. Fine, go there, click on it. And then you can now see it will now go to the ship and then it will now go to the awaiting billing as Click on the refresh now. So let the concurrent update. So send ship and advice is responsible for communicating the inventory shipping into the order management area. 
so it will not go to what awaiting shipping now avoid uh, rather ship and then afterwards to awaiting billing actually now you can see the status is shipped now fine so after some time what happens it will be getting interfaced fine it will now send the invoice process will now start now fine it is not yet started so once when the invoice process started what happens it will be pushing it to the interface tables of ar actually so once when it pushes it will now go to awaiting billing now fine it will now go to awaiting billing now. so it is not yet started so invoice process has just started now fine for that so once when the pushing of this data into the ar's interface table is complete then it will now go to the awaiting billing status now so we have already seen about how to set up ar actually fine omt ar setups are already completed and then now whatever you can see that it will be going to awaiting so now it has gone to the awaiting billing status that means what the data which is being shipped has been sent into the interface tables of uh, ar now we go there and then we will not run the import order invoice we'll not run the import order invoice import percentage auto percentage and then we tab import order invoice the concurrent so import order invoice go there and then get okay and then we'll now pass on the parameters actually so, so the transaction type is do now and drop it down and then make it as a distributed order orchestration now and then here the sales order number i'm going to give this is one sales order number is what 9008 it is a, uh, i will forgot the number kind of the manual order number how it is 9008002 now so 9008002 and then you have so these two are the parameters i'm passing on on the Uh, importing of the order invoice, fine. Click on submit now, fine. So this will now create what happens an invoice in the receivable section. And then as soon as the invoice is created, it will be notifying the feeder system, which is order management, that invoice is created. So once when that is created, what happens the line gets closed. And remember, every CSR is responsible for closing of a line actually. So till closure, he is responsible. He is reportable to the management about what is done. there may be some problem in the shipping area sometimes what happens you will not be having sufficient uh, uh, what's called uh, uh, manpower or packing material or some other resources like electrical electricity power and water so because of which the shipping may be getting delayed so there is a usual problem in many many companies and so the csr the customer service representative will be closely following with the uh, what happens the shipping agents the shipping managers the warehouse managers and the see to it that it is shipped right <clears throat> so now what happens you can now see the import order invoice now notify feeder system has succeeded so this will be communicating back to the order management that what about the sales order has been billed actually if i go that so awaiting billing is there fact click on refresh now what about the having bill and then the line status will be going to close that actually once when this bill is what you can now see the status is closed now fine so you can now see that it is now billed also the invoice status is billed now and click on it and then click on refresh and then click on done now and the main line itself what about you can see this so csrs are basically responsible for closing each and every line in fact what about they will be having a discussion in the evening with the management that how many lines they are holding and then how many are what about the Um, how many are closed? Right? For the closure of a line, they are basically responsible. For, you can now see the status is closed. <clears throat> so that means his activity is over. Now it is now the responsibility of the AR team to collect the payment and then apply the payment and then do the revenue recognition. So this short video completes a process of what happens at OMT AR. And then the, here in the real stress is what uh, once when you have any real time updates, this is when you, any any have uh, dynamic data update. What happens? You need not have to collect and refresh. but what you can do is we can now do a uh, real time start real time updates concurrent and then that will be updating the order management area for any changes on your dynamic data assets i hope that what happened this is some was interesting and then we'll not try to see you on another video bye for now thank you